we are going to understand the branch concept in Gnome software. In master setup, you can go to branch hierarchy. Here, the branch is already defined. Wherever you see this arrow, down arrow, that indicates the branch, whereas the dash indicates the group. Within branch, you can have multiple groups. And within a branch, you can have multiple branches also. So, let's say in India, I want to define one more state as a branch. So, what I can do is I click here and add Rajasthan RJ. Okay. Now, this dash indicates this is the group not the branch so i want to add the multiple cities let's say jaipur you can add any code as per your requirement then within jaipur i want to add so i want to make jaipur as a branch so i want to add uh, within let's say cotton market and one more branch in jaipur that is let's say port road Okay, and I click save now. If I search here, then I can edit specific customer. And here I can see that branch actually. So I can assign this customer to port road or whatever uh, group actually. Okay, I will not see the branch branches here. I will only see the groups. Uh, okay, now next thing is, I want to give a proper access to the staff, the branch access. Okay. So let's say I'm creating a staff. I'm setting the password. I click create and then to this staff I set the branch and the branch is let's say I want to set two branches here one is Jaipur and second let's say let me see if Chennai is there Chennai is not there then Tamil Nadu. Okay, so one says specific city and another was state actually. That's just a logical representation, but that's fine. So next is let me quickly give access to do some functionality. I give to access. Let me sign out from here and log in from the staff. Now you can see staff actually staff did not decide the branch actually it did not set up the branch that's why it's showing main branch. So staff can click here and select the branch from here. Let's say Jaipur set branch close. In accounting, staff can go and let's say expenses done, tea or coffee expenses done from here and cash expenses from Jaipur branch. I click save and uh, for a specific loan. So this is done and uh, just giving one uh, hypothetical example we are now selecting another branch that is Tamil Nadu and searching this loan and
and entering some amount here i mean receiving some amount all right now let's log out from here so i can recall that uh, 1000 expenses from jaipur and 200 received from tamil nadu branch okay so now this is admin login i can also have flexibility to decide in which branch i have to work okay and as an admin i will see all the branches so let's try to understand first what happened in Jain jaipur branch so i can go in business summary account statement and i can just check the cash statement what are the cash transactions done there so i can see here a branch jaipur and this is showing exactly that this is what happened there now there are some other transactions also showing here because uh, if no branch is selected and uh, without any branching if if you want to use the system then that is also fine so it's not mandatory to follow the branching concept but in that case your branch will be blank actually okay now i want to see what has happened in uh, another branch let's say this one so this is just for me to understand what's going on in different branches so i can just uh, check here in fact you can decide a manager for specific branch so that the manager will be responsible to check each and every stuff and then we can have a consolidated reports uh, grouped by uh, the groups centers districts states and then a country so we can have that hierarchy also fall fall off uh, for a quick access so you can see here now uh, there are two transactions done one was uh, from staff one uh, in earlier uh, demo actually and then this in this uh, demo staff two did uh, 200 uh, recovery okay that has happened from here all right so this is how it works and it is very simple uh, sim simple way implemented actually uh, you can just have a branch you whenever you log in you you can also come to me in which branch you are working so it will uh, make it very easy for you to uh, make the changes in that specific branch all right okay uh, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day thank you